One of the questions that I've been asked the most in the past seven years of shooting weddings is how do you grow a successful wedding brand without spending thousands of dollars on advertising? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top eight ways that I grew my wedding videography business without spending a dime. All right, so honestly, a lot of these should be super straightforward. But I try to run my business by always telling myself, keep it simple, stupid. A lot of these are super obvious, but without doing these, you're not gonna grow your business. So number one is be nice. Yes, obviously, be nice. But this means everybody. Obviously be nice to the couples, but be nice to the venue, be nice to the photographer, the DJ, the caterers, everybody, because you'll get jobs from these different vendors. One of my biggest ways that I book weddings is from different vendors. And by being nice and being genuine, people are gonna wanna refer you and you're gonna get more jobs without spending a penny. Hey, before we go any further, if you like this type of content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting a lot more here. Number two, obviously, is do good work. Put time and effort into creating the best quality product and not only the product, but also the experience from start to finish that you can. Obviously, the couples notice this experience and the great product, but if you're posting everything online, other people will see it as well, which will bring in more work. Number three, recently, has been the number one cause of leads for my business. And that is, like I said earlier in number one, befriend other vendors. Even if you're not a super outgoing person like myself, befriend other vendors and make serious relationships. Relationships are the key to this business. If you're friendly with other vendors and you're befriending these vendors, they're more likely to refer you to jobs. So for example, a venue will typically have 40 or 50 weddings there every year. And if you're on their preferred vendor list, every single couple that they have will see your name and wanna book with you. Same with photographers, 20 or 30 or 40 weddings every year, if they refer you to all their clients, that's 30 or 40 couples that you don't even have to market towards. I book more weddings nowadays from these referrals than I do from anything else. Number four is post consistently on social media. It doesn't necessarily need to be your work, but post consistently. You always wanna to be top of the mind to your clients and again, other vendors. From a typical wedding, I can cut four or five different pieces of content for my social media, for Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you post stuff, I can cut those pieces and post them consistently throughout the week. So as a company, we do 50 or 60 weddings. If you multiply that by five pieces of content per wedding, that's basically a piece of content every single day throughout the year. Again, if you're posting consistently online, you're gonna grow your audience and you're gonna be able to charge more for your videos and in turn, book more weddings. Number five is something that I strive to do better every single day, and it's focusing on solid communications. If a lead comes in, don't wait days to respond. Don't let them pile up respond immediately. Because again, number one in this industry is being the top of people's mind. If a couple is emailing five to 10 different wedding videographers and you email back first, you're gonna look the best out of everybody. Also, when a couple emails you and asks questions or calls you, communication is key. Respond to the questions as soon as you can and answer the phone calls whenever they come in. I know a lot of different vendors who wonder why they're not booking, but they also take days to respond to emails. That just doesn't work. Number six is ask your clients for feedback. The first few years that I did weddings, I really had no idea what I was doing. And by asking these clients, what could I do better? What worked, what didn't work? This is how I honed in how to do wedding videos, the product that the client wants, the right price point, pretty much everything. This is how I hone in everything and now deliver a better product from beginning to end. Number seven is again, an obvious one, but have fun. If you're not having fun and people know that you're not having fun, people aren't gonna refer you. You're not gonna get more jobs. Even if you're not having fun, pretend like you're having fun on a wedding day. If you do 50 weddings a year, you're not gonna be on the top of your game every single time, but the client doesn't need to see that. Always have fun at weddings because this is the happiest day of these people's lives. And if you're not having fun, they're gonna notice. And number eight is always one of the biggest ones that I have, and it's that good things take time. It's not gonna happen overnight. If you're in your first year and don't immediately book 20 weddings, that's okay, it takes time especially with all the stuff that I talked about before. It takes time to build relationships. It takes time to build a catalog of weddings that you can pull content from and post online. All of this takes time. You could very easily grow a business overnight, but that usually isn't the case. And one of the biggest downfalls that I see from other wedding videographers is that they quit too early. They shoot five or 10 a year and say, you know what, this isn't for me. And they really didn't give it time to garner their client base, hone in their price, and really start creating the content that they really want to. You know, I really wish I had a video like this when I started seven years ago. There really wasn't a whole lot of content online about wedding videography. So I really hope this video helped. I'm really passionate about growing other people's businesses and helping others achieve the dream that I had seven years ago that I'm living now. Again, if you like this content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.